guys, welcome to another video with Lock with Leilani. Who is Lock with Leilani? It is me. On this edition, I am making a Easter cupcake for you guys. I want to make this adorable Easter cupcake. It's been a few years since I made an Easter cupcake. I did make one on my Instagram. I want to say, ooh, I don't even think it was 2022. I think it was 2021. So I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be making it really quick and fast. Um, super simple and easy for you guys to make. You guys know how to make like a box cupcake. But I'm going to be adding Peeps to it. So these are going to be Easter Peeps cupcakes. If you guys have not watched my pretzel rod video, make sure you guys go back and check that one out as well. I, You guys hear probably a lot of sounds in here. I'm washing clothes and I'm actually washing stuff in my dishwasher. If you guys are watching this video right now, then you guys already saw my pack with Texas. I want to just throw in there that I may or may not be going to Texas because I am still heavily under the weather. Um, I am so under the weather, it's not even funny. I'm not getting better. I have chills. I took two COVID tests. I have chills. I don't feel good. I feel really horrible, and I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be going or not. You guys will know, obviously, if I go or not, because depending on what I do for Easter, you guys will know if I'm in Texas or not. But I'm not going to take down the video because that was still, in essence, my packing for Texas. Whether I go or not, it was still packing for Texas. It still gives you guys some inspiration and some tips and stuff like that on packing and things like that, even if I don't make the trek at this very moment. So I did talk to the airline to see what my options were, and they basically told me that I could use it as a credit I did not pay anything different to be able to get my refund because I had planned on going. I still plan on going, but I just do not feel good right now and I'm not feeling any better. So I don't want to like go out of town and get everybody sick over there. Um, my family here is still doing good. Um, my husband had a little bit of stuffiness the other day. My son told me last night that he felt a little bit off. So I don't know. So I think, you know, whatever I got a hold of, it might be going through the house very slowly, but everybody's still functioning and doing what they need to do. And I am too, because you guys can see I'm still here and I'm still bringing you guys some content and I'm still cooking. I'm actually washing as we speak, trying to get some last things done, but doing my washing for the week. But I'm also, you know, getting that done. I'm also going to show you guys the tiered tray that I picked up from Aldi also in this video, um, because I did decorate it with some of the little tiered tray items and stuff from Aldi. It is actually in my family room on my, um, on my chase in my uh, family room. I'll show it to you guys, or the ottoman rather. I'll show it to you guys in a second, but I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with these cupcakes. So stay tuned about the Texas trip. Not sure if I'm still going or not. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, but like I said, I will leave the video up for packing for motivation. That's my dishwasher. So over here, I'm going to be doing the Pillsbury Funfetti Cupcake Mix. This box is adorable. This cupcake mix can be found at Walmart. Um, you might be able to get it on Amazon if you can't find it anymore at Walmart and also Target. This was the first time ever that I had to kind of look a little bit to find it because usually I have no issues finding any of the Funfetti cupcake mixes for the holiday. So, you know, if you do your cupcakes from scratch and you just want to do some colorful, fun little sprinkles, you can do that as well. Um, I do have the Peeps sprinkles with the cute little Peeps head on there. You guys saw those. I'm not going to be using those because this frosting does come with some um, little cute butterflies in different colors. Bunnies and butterflies and eggs, I think, are inside of the little um, sprinkles that are in here. And then I'm going to be using some Pam in my pan, like you guys know I always use. And then I have my trusty bowl. I'm going to get a spoon. I'm going to be doing, you know, like I always do with my cupcakes, instead of milk. Uh, I'm sorry, instead of water, I'll be doing milk. And and I will be doing still the oil that comes with it. I'm just going to do oil. I'm not going to do butter. I'm going to do oil. And then um, what else? I might do butter. Should I do butter? I don't know if I should do butter uh, for these cupcakes. But um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and start making this. So definitely stay tuned. And then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be adding the peeps to the cupcakes as well. I'm going to be taking the cupcakes. I have four different colors of peeps, as you guys can see here. I have the blue, the purple, the pink, and the yellow. I'm going to be putting one of each of those colors in the center of the peep to show you guys how to do that. So basically, you have to take your cupcakes when they're nice and cooled. And you take a knife and you just cut the center out pretty deep so that the peep can fit down inside of the cupcake. And then you take your frosting and you pipe it around the cupcake like you normally would. So what I'm going to do is when I'm ready and the cupcakes are cooled off and stuff like that, I'll cut a couple holes in like four of them because I'm going to put two of the two colors at the top level of my um, of my um, cupcakes. And then um, on the bottom level, if I use that tray, I'm thinking about using the tray for the cupcakes. So I'll show you guys, though. I'll keep you guys posted on what I do. I will show you guys the tray as well. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into getting these uh, cupcakes prepped. I need to rinse out this pan, and then I'm going to start pouring my cupcake mix into this bowl and getting everything mixed up. 
I'll show you guys when I get that put in the oven and then I'm gonna show you guys the tear tray and then once the cupcakes are done and cooled I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna be cutting them open and I'm gonna be piping the yellow vanilla frosting this is how it looks in there I'm gonna be piping that into the piping bag and then I'll be using my cupcake scooper from Hobby Lobby for the actual cupcakes and I'll be putting these liners these are Wilton liners that I'm gonna be using and then you guys know I like to use a little bit of vanilla extract and a little bit of almond extract in my cupcake mix that's what I always use I do about two tablespoons of vanilla and one of almond extract and I kind of pour by just pour it by eye because I kind of you know eyeball it measure it but if you guys want the exact measurements that's pretty much what it is so that's what I've measured it out to be and then these are my piping tips that I have. I have this one that I like to use like the most. And then I have this one that does a little bit of a different vibe. And then I have the little twist tie that goes on the end of the piping bag. So you drop the tip inside of the piping bag first. I put the piping bag in a cup and then I go ahead and put my frosting in there. And then I tie it off and then I cut the tip of the piping bag. And then that's when I actually start to frost my cupcakes. So definitely go ahead and stay tuned to the actual end of the video to see the little tear tray and how these cupcakes come out and how I actually make them. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are a part of the Lock with Leilani family, you're already subscribed to the channel. I definitely appreciate your guys' support. Thank you guys for being here. Happy early Easter as well. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos and my content here. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I do hope that you decide to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. I do a lot of baking. I do a lot of like, you know, um, cooking videos, you know, just chill vlogs, you know, coffee, waffles, pancakes, just chilling, you know, low key stuff, family adventures and decor, a lot of Ray Dunn, Disney, just, just kind of like whatever I want to do. I kind of do a little bit of everything here. You guys might see some outfits. You guys might see some shopping hauls, like shop with me's for different stores like Aldi or Walmart, Target, Home Goods, things like that from time to time. And then I will come back home and show you guys what I get. Or I may go to those stores and just come back home and show you guys the haul of the things that I picked up, even like Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned till the end of the video and I will talk to you guys later. And I do hope that you guys have a wonderful Easter. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on baking anything for Easter or whatever your plans are for Easter. Definitely let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Until the next video, I hope that you guys have a good one. And again, I'll come back and show you guys how I cut out the center of the cupcakes. And otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, guys, so I did decide to use some butter. So you guys can see the butter that's melted there. So now I'm just adding in the milk, the cup of milk. It asks for a cup of water, so I'm doing a cup of milk. And then a half a cup of oil, I'm doing a half a cup of butter. And now I'm going to actually break the eggs and get those put in there. And then once I mix it all up, I'm going to add my vanilla extract and my almond extract. And I'm going to whip it up and then I'm going to put the liners inside of the cupcake pan and then I'm going to start baking them and then I'll show you guys when they are done. Okay guys, so I'm all done mixing up this um, cake mix. I'm about to actually start putting them inside the cupcake liners, but I wanted to clarify something I said earlier in my video. I said that I had not made a Easter cupcake in years. That is not true. I actually make something for Easter every year, basically a cupcake. I do every year. We take a cruise on you know, a ship for brunch, you know, breakfast, brunch, whatever. And we come home. We've done that a few years. We've gone to some restaurants where they've had brunch and things like that. But I will usually bake something because we will end up picking up something for dinner or having a dinner as well as home at home usually. So I do bake something all the time for Easter. This is the second time that I'm making the Peeps Cupcake. The first time I made it, I want to say it was either 2021 or 2022. I can't remember. I want to say it was 21. And I will try to insert a photo here so you guys can see it. It was a chocolate cupcake that I did. And I did green grass with the peeps in the center with the sprinkles on it so that's how i did that one before this one is better because it's more like spring essence because it's going to be like basically like a yellow you know kind of looking um cupcake as you guys can see from the box that's how it's going to look and then i'm going to be doing the yellow frosting the two go together as a set basically so of course you have to purchase them separately but that's how they look but i'm going to be doing those so that's how that's going to be so once the cupcakes are done once again i'm going to show you guys how i cut out the center a very deep center to be able to stuff the peep in but i want to make sure the cupcakes are cooled as well so definitely stay tuned for that um 
other than that, that's what I wanted to kind of share with you guys that I was going to do. Was was it something else I was going to tell you guys? Because I know I had said something in my video. I was like, I said that and I don't remember, you know, what I said. But yeah, I pretty much said that. Then I also told you guys that I may or may not be going to Texas. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to still go or not because I am like severely under the weather still. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I have made the Peeps Cupcake before one other time in a chocolate style. So let me see if I have a picture that I can put up there because I think I did pull a picture from my phone recently and share it on my Instagram because I did have a video like a long time ago, but I want to show you guys how that one looked. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so a couple things. So I did not use the pan because I just took the cupcake liners and I just put those inside of my cupcake pan so I did not need oil for that. If you decide to use the pan straight up and not use the cupcake liners, then you wanna use the pan so that your cupcakes don't stick and break up while they're baking in the oven. So those are in the oven right now for 23 minutes. So I'm just waiting on those to get done. Once they're done, I'm gonna take them out and cool them. I'm hoping that the cupcake is not made too big because sometimes I make them too big. Sometimes they're the perfect height. I do like when they have what I call the muffin top, which is like the more formed kind of like muffin, you know, looking style versus a small cupcake. A small cupcake is nice. Some people like those too, but I do like when they have like a perfect round like top on them because I do like to be able to have a cupcake where you can pull the top of the cupcake off and then you have the bottom. That's typically what I go for, but it just kind of depends. My cupcakes are definitely hit or miss. Sometimes they're like that. Sometimes they're too big. Sometimes they bust over. I'm like, uh-oh, I messed up big time. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to try to salvage as many as I possibly can if they come out busted up, okay? So to say, I do have my coffee here because it is morning time here in SoCal. So I'm having my coffee and um, yeah, just waiting on those cupcakes. So what I'm actually about to do now is I'm going to take my piping bag which is right here, and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put it in my Ray Dunn Little Chick Cup, spread it open, put the piping tip in there as well, and then I'm going to start to, um, you know, pipe the um, frosting in there. Well, not pipe it, but, you know, scoop it in there so that I'll be ready to pipe with the cupcakes when they are actually done. Um, I also have a cute little board that I picked up. I need to show you guys this little board that I have. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can go over and get this board. So I can show you guys what the board looks like. So the cupcakes are actually doing their thing. They look pretty decent in here right now. So hopefully they don't rise much more than that. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to grab a couple things. Hold on one second. Let me grab a couple things so I can show you guys what I have here. So I have this little um, board right here. I think I'm going to use this for the cupcakes. I'm going to put the cupcakes on that board, and then I'm going to use this plate that I picked up from Target this year. I do have quite a bit of these, these plates from past years, but I think I'm going to use this one um, to put the, the uh, piping bag that's filled with frosting on. And then I'm going to take the paper off of this, and this will be what I actually use to put my cupcakes on for my family so they can enjoy those this evening if they want to. Um, it's a little bit before Easter, like I said, a couple days before, but I'm actually doing this video because I'm not sure if I'm going to be in town or not, and I really wanted to make these cupcakes. Again, like I said, I did pick up two packages of this cupcake mix because I want to be able to make some, you know, later on, like if I wanna do some in May for Mother's Day or something like that, then I'll be able to have that option. Or, you know, just if I wanna do some in June or whatever, because, you know, springtime is gonna be here for a couple months. I mean, leading into June, obviously, we're gonna be going into summer after, you know, soon, in, in a bit, but we still have springtime, so I wanted to be able to have that option to make another box of these cupcakes if I wanted to. And then I have a bunch of different liners to do different things. I will be doing like another spring cupcake for you guys. And I'll definitely be doing like a summer cupcake. I already have some ideas and stuff down for you guys to of, of things that I'm gonna be doing coming up. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and pipe this frosting into this bag and wait for these cupcakes to get done. And I want to show you guys again, these are the peep sprinkles. I do have the pink and blue as well, as you guys saw in a previous video. And the flavor of these is supposed to be marshmallow. I'm not going to actually use them, though, on this particular video because I'm going to be using the cute little sprinkles that are on top that are included with the Funfetti. And another thing, if you guys don't use all the sprinkles that come with your cake mix, icing, frosting, whatever you want to call it, you can always put it inside of a little sandwich bag and then you can save it and you can use it for, you know, topping your kids' waffles or pancakes for Easter. Um, you can also put it on top of some whipped cream for coffee. You can put it on any other baked items that you might want to make. 
Um, you can actually put them in the cute little containers that you may already have for Easter, for Valentine's Day and things like that. You guys have seen the bunny sprinkles that I have from Walmart. I can always take those and throw those in there and mix them in with that. So you do not have to throw your sprinkles away. Just put them inside of a little baggie or a little plastic container so you can use them for something else. If you just wanna recycle the sprinkles, otherwise you can throw them away, but those are other options to just put them with some other sprinkles or put them in a sandwich bag and throw them on some waffles or some pancakes or on top of some oatmeal or any of that type of stuff for your kiddos for spring break. My daughter goes on spring break next week. And, you know, that's always like a sweet little touch to throw that in. You can make like a confetti oatmeal like I showed you guys the one that I picked up from Aldi. And uh, I think I shared that on my Instagram. I'll show you guys the confetti oatmeal as well. I still need to show you guys the tiered tray. So let me go ahead and do those things before those cupcakes are ready. So let's go ahead and jump into those other things. But I need to warm up my coffee again. Okay, you guys. So here I am. So I wanted to show you guys. These are the Wilton piping bags and these piping bags definitely have a um a max line to them these are the nicest ones though because it has the wilton logo on there it's from the grocery store pay like seven dollars for these two kind of pricey but you guys can hear they're very thick but they have a max line to them but i'm gonna take these and i'm going to actually um put this down in here and i'm going to push it down like that and you guys can see it's like that so then i'm gonna take the top of this frosting top off and like I was saying you guys can save your sprinkles too and then I was showing on my Instagram these little sauce cup things and they have a little lid to them too so if you have extra sprinkles you could totally use that for that too and this is my little chick mug that I have that's already done let me show you guys what I'm doing so I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna take this frosting and then I'm just gonna try to put it in there as easy as I possibly can. Try to push it down in there. See what it smells like. It smells good. It smells like the regular, it's just the regular vanilla ice icing. It's just um it's just yellow. It's just tinted yellow, but it's the same frosting that they normally give us. And if you guys like to make your frosting from scratch, of course, frosting from scratch is way better. Oh my God, it smokes the frosting like this. Some people think this one is sweeter, but I think they both are equally just about as sweet. Um, you can even make your homemade one sweeter, but at least the homemade one doesn't have a whole bunch of, you know, artificial chemicals and things like that in there because you already know what you're using for it. It's just straight up powdered sugar. So now I'm going to take this. This is the stressful part is to take this and... I pretty much just shake it down like this and then I just straighten it out until I can get it all down in there like I want it to be. Um, if you make your own frosting, if you use like piping sugar, I'm sorry, not piping sugar, um, confectioner sugar, and then if you use um, a little bit of milk and confectioner sugar, then you know like, okay, I'm using this, this, and this. So you know like you're not really... You know using a ton of things that have a bunch of other like artificial ingredients in it but i mean of course this one has artificial ingredients in it and preservatives and all that stuff so if you don't want you guys i forgot to put the freaking tip on there again look at that i forgot to put the tip on there i did that before did that the last time and guess what i'm not gonna redo it we're just gonna have to do our cupcakes with no piping tip this time and that's fine too but i forgot to put the piping tip in there that's what happens when you're talking right when you're talking, you mess up all the time. Maybe I should fix it. I don't know. It's going to be a hot mess if I do it. Um, yeah. If I redo it, it's going to be a hot mess. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to even waste my time and try to fix it because, yeah, I forgot to put the tip on there. Um, so, yeah, it'll still work out, though. It'll still be fine. So I'm not going to trust, trust myself about it. It will be fine. And then I'm going to put this to the side because I have these sprinkles in here. So I want to put that to the side until... I am ready to actually put the sprinkles on the cupcakes and then I can take the rest of those sprinkles and save them, which is what I will do. I think I'm gonna put them in one of those little containers I showed you guys. I just have to go grab a little lid. Let me grab a lid for those. show you guys how the sprinkles look this is how this will look with the sprinkles with the little lid like this with a little top 
So that's where we're at right now. So stay tuned for the cupcakes when they're done. I guess we're still waiting on those. Okay guys, so here is the instant oatmeal, the confetti cake. This is the one by Simply Nature by um, or from Aldi. So this is how this one looks. I don't usually do an instant, um, it's also non-GMO, but I don't usually do an instant oatmeal, but I thought that was kind of cool for my daughter for like spring break and stuff like that if she wants to dive into that. Um, I thought it was cute, but you can make this yourself at home as well. If you just have a regular oatmeal that you normally use, whether it's the kind that you make on the stove or instant, you can just add some sprinkles to it. And that's why I was saying these kind of sprinkles are perfect for that. I also decided to switch out that piping bag because it was going to bother me because it was already bending and stuff. And I did choose to use the um, kind of squiggly one instead of just a straight circle one that I normally use. So now we're just waiting on those cupcakes. They should just be a few more minutes. I'm going to actually take these sprinkles and I'm going to start um, adding them to this little container right here. Um, I think that would be like a good idea for me to go ahead and um, get those in here now. And then I can just use the ones that I want for my cupcakes. I can just use them from this container. I may end up even using all of them because look, it's not that much in there. But this is how you can store stuff. So these little sauce cups. You can get at the grocery store. They're really nice for like if you're making food and you want to be, like I said, on my Instagram today, if you want to be a clean cook and not be, you know, that's the worst thing to watch videos or know of people or see people have family. I know we all know somebody that do it. Some of us do it, but it's actually not very clean to be like dipping, sticking your finger in the frosting or, you know, while you're cooking or tasting food and dipping it back in the pot. I think a lot of people do that and they don't even think about it, but it is like contamination. Like I don't cook like that. Even for my family, they're my children. I birthed them as my husband. So it's like, you know, some people feel like, oh, it's, it's all the same germs, but it's really not because everybody has their own set of teeth. Everybody has their own germs and everybody, you know what I'm saying? So we can, you know, go into great detail on that, but everybody has their own germs that they have and we'll leave it at that. But I'm just trying to say, you know, be a clean cook, wash your hands before you cook, wash your hands, wash your hands, dry your hands, use soap and water with your washing your hands. Okay. And also make sure when you're cooking and stuff, you know, have some, you know, throw away things like this if you don't want to spend because these cost about, you know, six to seven dollars in the grocery store. You get a large pack of them. They last for a while. But if you don't want to spend the money on doing something like that, purchasing those, use a little bowl or something, get a plastic spoon and, you know, take a larger spoon that you're making your soup with or your whatever you're making, your pasta, whatever. And you want to use that one to put it inside of the sauce cup. Have a separate fork to taste with, a taste testing to make sure it's just stuff is seasoned good or ready for consumption for your family, friends, or whoever you're cooking for. And, you know, don't cut, don't cross-contaminate by licking your fingers and doing all that kind of weird stuff because that's just nasty. I hate when I see that on videos, like even on TV and stuff like that, or, you know, whatever I may be watching. I just think it's pretty nasty for people to cook like that because you definitely don't want to eat from someone that has been dipping their finger and stuff and, you know, licking things while they're mixing it up. I just don't like that. I just think it's tacky and, you know, it's pretty disgusting and, I think a lot of people do that kind of stuff. Even if you guys watch like cooking shows and stuff, you'll see people doing that or, you know, people that cook in their jewelry and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know why people cook in jewelry. And I have like had conversations with my mom and my family and stuff about it. They're like, yeah, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah, it does because jewelry has a bunch of germs on it. So imagine if you're cooking in your wedding band and stuff like that, like people cook in jewelry all the time. I don't, I make sure I take everything off. And even in some cases I will wear gloves. So we just want to be as clean as we possibly can with, especially with all the different things that are going around with like COVID and all different kind of bacteria and different things that are going around. It's not even about being a neat freak or a clean freak or any of that kind of stuff. It's about being clean. You know what I mean? Like it really is. It's just like as simple as washing your hands. So I just want to put that out there because I know some people are watching or listening and maybe do some of those things. And sometimes we don't realize what we're doing and we just need to be cleaner and, you know, more safe when we're cooking for others as we would want them to be for us. Okay, you guys, these are all nice and brown. As you guys can see, I almost burned them. And my timer was like, oh, you have two more minutes. I think I had them in the oven already for about two minutes. This is probably two or three minutes too long because you guys can see how they're nice and brown on the top. But that's okay because I'm going to be cutting off some of the center. Um, I'm going to be taking my knife and I'm going to be cutting down the center of that, kind of like in a little square, more like a re rectangle. be like a skinny kind of rectangle down the center. I will be doing four of those like that. So I'm going to use the ones that are probably the highest up. So like this one is a little bit higher. I'm going to use this one, this one, this one, and this one, I think. So those are the four that I'm going to use and cut the centers open. But I'm going to let them cool for about 10 minutes or so. Once they're nice and cool, then I'll be able to cut them open at the, um, the little peeps in the center. You guys will see that. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys how that's going to go. 
And then um, basically you want to cut the open of the peeps of the cupcakes for the peeps the way that you want them to sit. So if you want the peeps to sit sideways, then you would cut your rectangular this way. If you want them to be in the middle, then you want to cut straight down like this, like across like that. So it just kind of depends on how you want them to be. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to cut the center and you guys will see how I'm going to stick those peeps in there. But let's go ahead and give that a few more minutes to cool off. Okay, guys, so this is in my family room really quick. I promise you guys I would show you guys this. I'm just waiting on those cupcakes to cool off. But this is the Aldi tier tray that I put together last night, if you guys can see that. It turned out really cute. I really like the way it looks. So what I used was the actual tier tray that was from Aldi. This is the little tier tray. And a lot of people on Instagram told me that they loved it and they went and found it. There's also a light green one too. Um, let me see if the green one's on the back. No, the green one's not on the back of this one. But there is a green one. It might be on one of these boxes actually. I'm trying to think. Um, this one shows like a wooden one where they just have like all the stuff on there. But this is the one that came with the gnome and it came with the other little, um, the little um, garland. But I didn't use that garland. That garland is in here and it says jam on it. So I did not use that. And then maybe this one had the green. I could have sworn I had something with the green tray on there. But the green tray is made like this one. This is actually a pretty good size. So if you were to put it on your counter, it would fit really nice. It's not little. I thought it was going to be tiny, and it's not. It's a really good size. It made me feel like I should have probably got the green one too. But I don't really have a place to put the green one. So I did pick up this one. So everything that's on this bottom shelf down here was inside of this one, except for the little bird. I didn't put the bird in there. But I thought this was really, really pretty. So I did include this in my decor this year. Um, I really love the carrot design and the two little tiered tray packs, which were super cute. And I just used those. Um, it was really funny because I was showing on my Instagram last week when I purchased these from Aldi that this one is supposed to be a book stack, but it's not a real book stack, like a thick one. It's just like a thin little board. So you basically just have it like that. So that's pretty much how that is. And yeah, so that is the little tier tray with some of the little tier tray decor on there. At the very end of the video, guys, after I show you guys how I'm going to cut a hole in the cupcakes to add the peeps and pipe the frosting on there, I'm going to show you guys the end result of those cupcakes. And at the very end of the video, you guys will see my hallway and you guys will see my family room decor when I put the peep lights up on there. So during the day, I just take the peep lights off because I do turn the fireplace on. It's kind of chilly, so I don't want them to be hanging over the fireplace. So I have them just sitting up on top of the counter. But in the hallway, I still have those laying. But you guys will see how the lights look on those at the very end of the video. So if you guys made it this far in the video, it's another little bit of a long video. But if you guys are enjoying the video and watching it, I do appreciate the support. And once again, happy Easter to everyone. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you guys how I did the peeps. I actually just did a video, like a behind the scenes on my Instagram. So basically what I did, you guys can see that I did two of them already. So what I did was with this pink one, I just cut out the center like this and then I put the peep in the center like that. And then this one, I did the same thing. You guys can see where I cut the hole at. Um, this one, I started cutting right there and I just left that piece on there. So basically you just cut a hole down in the center of it and then you just stick your peep in there. You want your peep to go down all the way in there as far as possible. You don't want them to stick out so he won't fall out. And then basically you just take your knife and you just cut a rectangular piece. You guys can see I already had cut a piece there. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna pop that piece out. And if you need to take some more of the cake out or whatever you can, um, you can take that out. And if you don't wanna waste the cake, you can actually put it to the side. You can crumble the cake if you want to and you can actually put it on top of the cupcakes with the frosting if you want. So basically I took that out like that. So now I'm gonna take this peep and just push him down in there like that. So it's super simple, very easy. And then I have one more back here, show you guys what I did. Basically just pop that top out again, like I did all the way out. I'm gonna clean my mess up when I'm done, of course. And then you just take your peep and stuff your peep down in there. And now you guys see that I have four peeps down inside of these cupcakes and that's all I'm gonna put in there. So now I'm gonna take my frosting and I'm actually gonna move these cupcakes as they're completely cooled. I'm gonna take them over to my board I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that. So this is how they look with those liners. You guys remember I told you you're not going to be able to see the decor anymore. So now I'm going to take these over to my board. I did not know that this package came with two. These were from Michael's, those boards that I had. So I'm just going to take one like that. I'm going to put him on there like that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start putting the other cupcakes around him. And then I basically will kind of decide like how I want to actually have this situated with the decor of the actual cupcakes as well. Okay guys, so I am pretty much piping the frosting on these cupcakes. So I'm going to turn them this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. 
So this is basically how they look. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do this one right here. You guys can see this purple one. You basically want to go in with your piping and you want to pipe all the way around the actual um, cupcake so that you cover the entrance of where you put that hole. So you want to go all the way around it, you know, as much as possible. So you want to do that for sure on the cupcake. And then you're going to go down on the cupcake and put some more, you know, frosting around it as needed. And then I'm just going to go around these other ones here that I have and I'm just going to frost them like I normally would just all the way around them and just kind of do that. You guys can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me turn this around so you guys can see better. So I'm just basically going around the actual cupcake and I'm just frosting it, you know, like I normally would. And then I'll just go back in where I need to frost the cupcakes again. So you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, let me see if you guys can see. Okay, so this is a top view. So you guys can see like I'm just going to go back in on some of those areas that I missed. And then over here, I'm just going to go in on this particular cupcake and just go all the way around it. I mean, there's really no wrong or right way to do. I mean, there's obviously a professional way to, to decorate cupcakes, but you know, however you can do it that makes it work for you is fine. Um, and then once again, this cupcake right here, I'm just going to go around it. I'm just going to go all the way around it so I can cover the hole that I created. And then I'm just going to continue to go back around it so that I can just add, you know, more piping around it. And then you can put as much frosting as you want to on your cupcakes, obviously. Um, however much frosting you want to put on there, you put on there. And then I'm just going to take my sprinkles. I'm going to look at these a little bit first, and I'm going to see where else I need to add some more frosting. Because you guys can see this purple one right here. You can still see in the center where I cut the hole. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that everything is all covered up good. So everything is good. So now I'm going to go in with some sprinkles. So pretty much what I'm gonna do. Just go in with some sprinkles. You can put as many sprinkles as you want to on there. Um, and of course I'm gonna clean my mess up when I'm done, but this is basically what you do. You go in with your sprinkles on there and you got your nice little Easter treat, perfect for your family and friends. If you wanna get the little cute containers that they have, um, they sell the cute little containers at Michael's and stuff like that, that you can purchase that you can actually put cupcakes in. So if you want to like take these, Cause they look definitely professional for like a bakery type situation and you guys can see that i'm not going to have any of these sprinkles left probably for me to say for coffee ice cream oatmeal or anything like that because i pretty much use them up but yeah guys that is pretty much it that is my video for today for you guys and you guys see i have a big mess to clean up but this is how the cupcakes turn out i think they're super cute and they're perfect like i said if you want to take them and put them inside of i'm trying to pick up the the actual lid itself but i wasn't able to so and i just dropped some sprinkles on the floor but you guys can see this is how they turned out they're super cute and they are ready for consumption and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully gave you guys some motivation for baking gave you guys some ideas for baking look at the little purple and blue bunny they have sprinkles between their ears <laughs> super cute i'm gonna have to knock those off but yeah you guys can get the professional pans so you can put your cupcakes in there and then the cupcakes will um, looks super cute in there. So yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the end of the video with the light situation of my decor and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so these are all done. I'm all done with these cupcakes. You guys can see that they are all done.